Hello friends, I thought I'd share this uh, a little review of something I enjoy. Pull this out every once in a while just to have a little extra fun. This is a Super NES Mini, which looks like it's pretty much available for around uh, $120 to $130, sort of depending on where you look. And it's about uh, maybe $80 used, typically. And I thoroughly enjoyed getting this and using this. It's like having a, a time capsule of really great games on the Super Nintendo. Every one of these games I have played before and enjoyed, at least to a certain extent. And I thought I'd go through all 21 of these games with you, give you an idea of what they're like. Okay. Contra uh, 3. It's basically, if you know the Contra series, it's kind of a shooter. Very fun game. Now this one is a, a jump in improvement in graphics over the old Contra and Super Contra. Uh, it's even better than the arcade versions, in my opinion, of those. Very good game. It, I, I found it fun. I beat it. Donkey Kong Country. One of the best games also. On this, the, every one of these is basically one of the best ever made in the series. Donkey Kong Country, I've played this, I've beat it. It's a fun little game. Earthbound. This is another reason I bought this game. I have played only a little bit of Earthbound. I want to finish it and beat it. So that's one on my list of things to do. Uh, it's a very fun RPG game. I've heard it's one of the best ever made. I just never got around to playing it, so I'm going to soon. Okay. I'm going to finish this game soon enough. Alright, F-Zero. It's a fun racing game. I've played through it a bit, quite a bit. Uh, that's a fun game to play. Okay, let's go over to the next set. Final Fantasy III. This is definitely the best game on the, the in my opinion, on the whole system. Okay, I had so much fun with this game that I would recommend everybody get a chance to play this game. They need to remake it. It's probably the one game needs to, that needs to be remade the most. Very fun game. My favorite. Okay, Kirby Superstar. Good fun game. A little fun one for the kids especially. These has several games in one actually. Derby's Dream Course, another good game. Uh, if you enjoy Kirby. Uh, I played both of these a little bit, but I'm more of a RPG fan, like Final Fantasy. Mega Man X is the first in the Mega Man X series. Very good game. If you've ever seen those Mega Man games, this is highly recommended. One of the best games to play in a system. Uh, I enjoyed it. I've beaten it. Okay, over here to the next set. You have Secret of Mana. I really enjoyed this RPG. I would say it's almost as good as Final Fantasy III. I played through this and beat it. Star Fox very fun game. One of the best ever made. I have played and beaten all three uh, of the episodes of this. The easy, medium, and hard versions. And there's, there's so much to do in this game. Uh, I, it, it was very hard for me to finish the hard version of this. There's, you have to pick three different courses. It's very different from other games. It's a 3D type game. True 3D. Uh, tested the system a lot. Very good game. Here's another game I bought this system for. I have never played Star Fox 2 because it didn't come to the States until this Super NES Mini came out. It never made it to the States for some reason. They had finished the game and didn't release it. So now they were able to release it on this Super Mini. So I get to play a brand new video game on this system. For me anyway. Okay, let's go to the next set here. Of course, Street Fighter 2 is always fun. Uh, it even showcases on the front my one of my favorite characters, Edmund Honda. <laughs> I've played it his, as him many times and beaten this game. So that's a fun game. I've played as every character and beaten it at some point you, you know, on this game. Uh, that's what made this so fun, is you can do it. <coughs> now. Super Castlevania 4, another nice, fun game. I've liked the Castlevania series. 
I think I've beaten all but the first one. The first one's really hard. But uh, I've beaten this one in particular, uh, at least twice that I can remember, way back when. Very fun game. I would really recommend it. Here's one I don't recommend. Super Bowls and Ghosts is a very tough game. You only get like one, two, three times you can get hit in before you die. And so this is one of those really tough games. Uh, it's a platformer. If you can beat this one, you're doing better than me. Uh, I've played it several times, and there, there's always a couple of points where I'm trying to jump and make, and make a jump, and it's really tough. Uh, or that there's characters that just bother you to death, and you just don't have many lives and many characters of uh, armor in it to survive hits. So it's a tough game. Uh, but for those of you who want a challenge, hey, this is as challenging as any of them. I'm going to slide over the next few. This, definitely one of the best games ever made. Super Mario Kart. It started the Super Mario Kart series. They're still playing that often online. Several people have their own sites that's where they show off the current version called Super Mario Kart 8, I think it is, uh, on the current system. So this is what started it all, and it is very fun. I've played it many times in my past. I recommend everybody try it. It's fun. Okay. Super Mario RPG. I've also played this game and beaten it. Actually, both that one and this one. Uh, very fun game. I enjoyed it. Uh, we rated about it a, a 8 out of 10. Uh, one of the better games on the system. That's why it's on here. This is the game that starts it all with this series called Super Mario World. A uh, very fun game. I've beaten this as well, but it's not easy. Uh, it was a very challenging and very nice game. I would enjoy it. It's a good playthrough. And another one of my favorites on this system is Super Metroid. I've beaten this several times. It's very fun to play through. And I heavily recommend this one as well. Uh, certainly a top five in this series of games. Well, maybe a top seven. Because I guess see another one over here. Let's go over to this list. Super Punch Out! Also, I'd say this for me is a top three. Probably number three or number two. I love going back to this one just to test my, you know, ability to play still. Uh, there's, I've beaten this game several times. It's always so fun to try to play through and, and beat this game. And the fun thing about using this system is the controllers work better on the Super NES than on anything else I've ever played. So the Super Nintendo Mini, the controllers for it work better than any other system I've ever tried. That makes this game a lot more fun because it's very timing oriented. You have to watch each and every character for their own special abilities and fights. So, very good game. Legend of Zelda, a top 10 game from Super NES. Very good, very fun game. A little challenging at times. Uh, especially one of the characters that you have to bounce off of. Anyway, very fun game. I've beaten it a few times myself. I go back to it once in the blue moon. Here is Yoshi's Island, a unique game uh, where you play as Yoshi instead of just being instead of Mario, because Mario is basically a baby at this point. But this is a fun game to play. I played through a little bit of it. I need to finish it. One of these days I will. Anyway, that's all the games on this list as we've gone back to the Contra game. Enjoy this series. If you ever get a chance to you know, enjoy this this is one of the best mini platforming games systems you can buy. Uh, I would recommend it to everybody who's a gamer. Uh, there's so much to go back to, and these are the best games this system had, absolutely bar none. So, if there's any special like set of games you can buy, a system you can buy to make things fun. Uh, the only thing better than this is to buy the, the latest versions of, like, the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox and, and get a good game going. But this, you'll spend a lot more time on this than you might spend on any other console. It's that fun. It's because the games that were made are timeless. They'll be fun for most of your life. Anyway, and I would rate this, this mini console a 9 out of 10. Okay. 
worth having fun with. That's all I play games for is fun. I don't play games because, oh, I gotta beat competition all the time. These are offline games you can play with or without internet connection. Very fun. Some of the best games ever made. Enjoy. And have a good day.